The party at an Oakland artist warehouse was supposed to go till 4 a.m., but at 11.30 p.m., emergency responders got the call. There was a fire. It was big, and it was moving fast. I and another member of the collective uh, smelt smoke, and then we saw where the fire was and uh, started yelling and trying to get everyone out. I mean, this, it all happened really quick. There was so much smoke, firefighters had trouble getting through. Entry into the structure wasn't a straight path. There was a lot of, you know, cubicles. The, um, a clear exit wasn't defined. So it was a hard firefight. Officials believe there may have been upwards of 100 people inside when the fire started. More than two dozen are still listed as missing. Another member of the collective had broken his ankle and was calling out for help. He was pretty much like my, my neighbor in the space next to me. Um, I was pulling him out. He's a larger gentleman, and there was a lot of stuff in the way. The, fire, the, the flames were too much. Too much smoke, and I had to, I had to, I had to let him. Officials say the makeshift artist studio was filled with statues and mannequins, and the layout may have made it hard for those inside to escape. There was just the one way up and down from the second floor, and it's my understanding that that stairwell was make um, kind of like a makeshift that they um, put it together with pallets. Investigators are waiting for the building to cool before they go in, so they're using drones to look for hot spots. So we have to literally go in there piece by piece and move wood and timbers and debris to even get an assessment. That process may take up to two days. Until then, they won't know how this fire began or how bad this disaster could really be. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News.